You're tuned into the BSX Digital Sports Network. Good morning, Las Vegas, all of my sports betters around the world. That's what I'm giving you straight. Grease waking you up early in the morning. Vegas scoreboard express. You're rocking with the boss of the big board. JP, the ticket. That's right. Turn it up. Giving you guys the grease this morning. Waking you up early, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Every Saturday and Sunday back on the line here. 107.1 FM, KSHP, AM 1400. Again, shout out to all my listeners out there. Special shout out to my main guy, Naeem the Dream, out here in Las Vegas making it happen. Another fan from Philadelphia. You guys know Philadelphia is rocking with us. Here to start the morning off with me, of course, I got my main man, Ron, third down, best bets. Ron, good morning to you. Are you on the line? Go ahead. Good morning. There you go. There you go. We're going to be breaking down the NFL free agency situation, getting ready for the start of training camp. Going to be talking to you guys today about the value of running backs and why it has declined in the NFL over the past couple of seasons. Going to give you some stats, picks that pay. Going to be giving you some prop bets that you can take early. Telling you right now, every single running back for the top running back position, most yards over at our friends at BetUS.com are in the plus. That means you can't lose. Everybody is money line. Stay tuned with my main man, Ron Third Down Best Bets. When I get back, we're going to be jumping into it. NFL free agency Saturday. Also tomorrow, when we're back on the line, going to have a man, Scotty Beamer, up web giving you those baseball picks. So you know what time it is. Time to wake up early, Las Vegas. Time to wake up early everywhere else that you are listening. KSHP.com, my website, VegasScoreboardExpress.com. I'm going to take a short commercial break and get back into it. You can hear the excitement in my voice. Football is right around the corner. That means it's time to get paid. Grab your bankroll. Let's hit the window and get some money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. J.P. the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Giving you that grief. Football season, stay in the game with Fubo TV. Over a hundred live channels, including NFL Network, NBA TV, and FS1. Don't miss any of the action. Get seven days free on us at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Yo, 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 yo! You in the mix? World's finest, Come mate. On. And I had to come to The DJ keeping the party going. The DJ keeping the party going all night long. You're listening to the boss of the big four. JP the ticket. Vegas scoreboard express. Waking you up early in the morning. Back at you live. Got my main man, Ron Third Down. Best bets. He's got his coffee. He's ready to break it down with me. Ron, good morning. You know what time it is, man. We are back here live. KSHB AM 1400, 107.1 FM. VSX Digital Sports Networks. VegasScoreboardExpress.com. You can check us out on Instagram at JB the Ticket. And also be sure to follow us on that new little app they got called Threads. We'll be dropping all the release on that for this NFL season. So let's jump into it. The NFL free agency market is still available. And you guys can get some of these prop bets over at our friends at BetUS.com. Again, in all legal jurisdictions, if you have a problem, get some help. 
But if you don't and you want to win some money with JB the ticket this NFL season, use offer code VSX125. So, Ron, we were talking about it a little bit in the pregame. What's going on with the running backs in the NFL, man? Doesn't seem like anybody wants to pick these guys up. The value's going down. You got Saquon Barkley in New York. The Giants, the G-Men, have made him an offer that he could not take. It's an offer he refused. Still got Dalvin Cook out there. What have you seen over the last couple of years? Because, you know, I got some grease to drop on it, and then we're going to get into some of these prop bets for running backs. Because, again, over at BetUS.com for this season, every single running back is in the plus. So it's like, look, whoever gets the most yards is going to get you the most money. But talk to me a little bit about what you've seen over, say, the past three, four seasons, especially coming out of uh, that slowdown season that we had a couple of years ago in 2020. When you talk about the running back position and the evolution of the running back position, essentially, into a fifth receiver, I know we talked about that. As far as running the football, offensive schemes, what have you seen, Ron? And then we'll jump into it, some of the things that I've seen and how you can still make some money making bets at that position. Go ahead. Well, they've obviously changed the position to where they've almost killed it. I hate to say that. I mean, it's, it's not even a factor anymore. I mean, it's, you're, you're made, like you said, you're a fifth receiver. You know, you're an option now. It's not a, you're not the direct weapon. I mean, it's, I don't know if they're ever going to get back to it. I don't see, I don't see how they can right now. I mean, it's, I mean, the Raiders need to sign Josh Jacobs, number one. They oh, man. We, uh, I'm telling you. I mean, look at the I market. Put that out there. I mean, Dave Ziegler, get your butt in here and get this man signed and get him back. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. The year he had, he deserves it. He earned it. He worked his butt off last year. He was the only legitimate weapon for a couple games. And teams knew that. And they he still got to earn some yards. Right. So they need to hit, they need to get that handle number one. They need to get him signed, get him into camp. And I think the NFL they're really almost eliminating the position in the future if they keep this up because kids who's gonna want to be a running back that you know, you're not gonna get paid. I mean, they're seeing this stuff. The parents are watching, they're seeing this stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, Josh Jacobs, this is a really bad example for them, in my opinion. They need to get this handle. I mean, that's their leading rusher. We're not talking about a guy that had 400 yards and three touchdowns. I mean, this guy dominated the league. Right. He should be getting paid. And that is that is a problem right now. Well, you talk and about it. I mean, not to cut you off. I know you're a big Raiders right. fan, the Raider Hawk. I know you want to get these Raiders to sign it. But it's a bigger issue across the NFL. Okay, I was taking a look at um, – some information over at uh, ESPN. I don't know who wrote this. I know they got rid of everybody. <laughs> don't know who wrote it. But um, it was a pretty good article, and they were talking about this. And it's something that, again, we've touched on a lot on the show. But the reality is that the value of running backs over the last couple of seasons has just not been there. If you talk about Melvin Gordon, he won a Super Bowl last season. He didn't even play a snap for the Chiefs. They gave him a ring. He got a check, didn't have to play. All right, Todd Gurley, remember him for the Rams when they made it to that first Super Bowl and, you know, didn't quite get over the hump, but they gave him a big check. He disappeared out of the league. Nobody's seen him in the last couple of seasons. Cam Akers, you've seen the issues with Josh Jacobs. You've got Dalvin Cook still in free agency market. I think Ezekiel Elliott is still kicking around out there somewhere. So when you talk about it from the perspective of going back into the day where you had guys like Terrell Davis for the Dem- for Broncos, you had very, very good players, Y2K, Chris Johnson, Tennessee Titans. You had good dominant running backs. But over the last decade, we've seen this position lose its luster, if you will, from an offensive coordinator's perspective. And it's also seemed to have not just the change of the position, but the type of guy playing the position, man. They ain't got them dogs no more, man. They ain't got the big trucking guys. A lot of guys are very lithe, very, you know, kind of shifty, but they're just not getting the production and the yard. So what do you think this year? Talking about some of the running backs, you know, you got Derrick Henry. These stats, all this stuff is out of the window because we're talking about a bet right now. Rotation number 1001. You've got Derrick Henry, a guy who has been a representative of a power running back in the NFL for the last three seasons. He's going at plus 550 for this season's NFL rushing leader. you got Nick Chubb right under him, Josh Jacobs, 
plus 1,200. That could be an interesting pick if the Raiders are able to sign and bring him back. With Jimmy Garoppolo being hurt, you know he'll get a lot of carries. But Saquon Barkley right there, rotation number 1006 at plus 1,200. Look at the value here. We start at plus 550. There's 40 running backs on the board. And the last running back is a quarterback at Daniel Jones at plus 15,000. So it's just like, come on, man. They're mixing in quarterbacks into stat leaders, rushing yards, prop bets. Who do you think is going to be that one running back that stands out this year? I'm, again, with the running of the quarterbacks, we talk about this, Lamar Jackson, guys like Kyler Murray. We've seen that dual threat quarterback kind of take over in the NFL. We saw it in college, and a lot of these college coaches, coordinators are moving up into the league. Do you think that the running back is still going to be an option in offenses this year and out of the running backs that you have been looking at over the last couple of weeks as we get into this NFL start of the season, OTAs are over, getting ready to go to training camp. Who do you think would be a good bet? And if you say a name, I'll be able to dig up the uh, rotation number and get it started for the fans out there listening. And again, thank you guys so much for listening out in Radio Land. Rocking with me, JB the Ticket, waking you up early every Saturday and Sunday at 6 a.m., 7 a.m. here on KSHP 107.1 and a.m. 1400. So, Ron, again, running back, who do you think is going to be the top leader as far as getting the yards this year? Go ahead. You got to go with Derrick Henry. I mean, off the bat, I mean, it's just he's he's been the guy for so long. And ten, he's Tennessee's primary weapon. That's that's where he stands out, in my opinion. He's the first option. You know, with Tannehill back there, they they everybody knows it's coming every game. You're going to see him 25, 30 carries a game. You know, he's really the only running back that's really being used that way anymore in the NFL. It seems like. But, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I think he, he's definitely the guy. And I'm intrigued by Brees Hall of the Jets. Mm-hmm. I hope he I hope he can get himself healthy from last year because he was on a tear before he went down. And the Jets, we were talking, they were looking really good. There you go. And once he, once he went down, everything kind of changed. You Brees know? Hall, just on a side note, rotation number 1013 over at BetUS.com. Again, be sure to stop by our sponsors. Sign up online, casino, and all your legal jurisdictions. You got Brees Hall, NFL stat leaders in rushing yards. He's at plus 2,000. So talking about these New York Jets now, that they've got Aaron Rodgers. They finally have gotten that deal done. He's kind of calmed down. He's did his celebrity move around thing. You know, they do that press tour going into training camp. Brees Hall, again, coming off of injury. Do you think he's going to be able to have a productive start of the season, being that most of the defenses, I think, are going to be focused on stopping Aaron Rodgers in that division? Go ahead. Yeah, I think he should benefit from Aaron Rodgers. I mean, it's they finally have a legit quarterback. I mean, we saw the issues last year. I mean, it was, you know, I was I was wondering if David Letterman was going to wind up quarterback in Farm One Point last year. That was really bad. Wilson was so bad. Zach Wilson, that was that was really bad at the end of the year. I mean, he, they had a good team going. He just destroyed it. I mean, he just all his fire was gone. Well, it happens, and especially. When everybody is over there looking at your mom like that every time she pops up on Instagram. Talking more about this NFL free agency. When I get back from this short commercial break, got my main man, Ron, a third down best bet. You can follow him over on Instagram at RaiderHawk1. Check him out on our website, man. We've got so many tech issues. we got to bring in the tech team, redo the website. we got to redo all the links. But nevertheless, JB the Ticket, you can listen to me on all of your Radio apps, podcast apps, we're on iHeart, Spotify. Just got the brand new station over on TuneIn. So you guys just search for JV the Ticket and Vegas Scoreboard Express, and you'll be able to get the grease this season. A little bit of NFL free agency today when I get back from this short commercial break. Me and Ron are going to break it down a little bit more, give you our thoughts. Again, give a shout-out to my main man, Naeem the Dream, here in Las Vegas, one of our new listeners. Going to be one of the new call-ins this fall. We're going to be opening up the phone lines this NFL season each and every single weekend. And we may be coming on a few extra days during the week to keep those NFL pockets flowing. Got to put cash in your pocket this year. The Super Bowl is coming to Las Vegas. Very important. Shout out to the Super Bowl committee and the folks working over at Allegiant Stadium for making that happen. Ron, any shout outs? And I'll take this short commercial break and then we'll get back and keep breaking down what we're seeing and free agency right before the start of training camp. Go ahead. Yeah, I got to mention Mr. Lamar Hamilton, like I usually do. Mr. Sacramento. Anything you can do to help us, it would be wonderful to help him. Make sure you check him out on YouTube. He's got tons of stuff on there. 
And I'm super cranky. I know you listen to this morning. Thank you so much. I always keep listening into the show. We appreciate you guys again. We're growing. Giving you the type of sports information that you can need, the bets that you can count on. All money, all sports, no bull. JB the ticket. When I get back, we're going to keep going. It's the NFL season is getting ready, people. There's not too many bets this summer. It's a time to study. It's a time to learn. It's a time to get that bankroll ready and get ready to win some money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. JB the ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express, giving you that grease. This football season, stay in the game with Fubo TV. Over 100 live channels, including NFL Network, NBA TV, and FS1. Don't miss any of the action. Get seven days free on us at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Welcome to Hash House A Go Go, where we've been serving farm food and crafted cocktails for over two decades. Visit us for the full Hash House experience at any of our five Las Vegas locations. Hash House A Go Go is where old school meets new and gets twisted. We bring people together over good food and fun. Come in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and come hungry because our portions are huge. Visit us online to see our entire menu at hashhouseagogo.com. Hash House A Go Go. It's a Midwest thing, and there's nothing else like it. Get back at you live here. BSX Digital Sports Networks. My main man, Ron, third down best bet. Still in line with me, Ron. Jumping back into this NFL free agency. And you guys can watch all these games over on Fubo TV. That's right. Go to FuboTV.com slash JP. Giving you 15% off. Saving you a ton of money. I want you to be able to watch these games at a low cost. Enjoy them. NFL Red Zone, NFL Network. I've got it all included coming up this season again don't get cable get fubo tv so ron glad to have you back on the line we were just talking about the running backs top props starting the season for the rushing leaders let's talk about josh jacobs a little bit last year he was the nfl rushing leader again he earned that contract raiders are trying to put things together for him he's on the rotation number over at bet us one of our partners go to betus.com use offer code vsx125 i'm going to put an extra 125 percent bonus on your initial deposit josh jacobs right now at plus 1200 so a hundred dollar bet can get you 1200 back you like josh jacobs and based on what the raiders offense has been doing over the last couple of seasons he's got a lot of carries but do you think that they're going to try to open up that passing game a little bit with jimmy garoppolo but unfortunately like you said jimmy garoppolo's hurt he had to have that surgery hopefully he'll be ready to go hopefully we don't have to start with the rookie or anything like that but you know josh jacobs it's on the line. He's very unhappy with the Raiders. And when you have an unhappy player, I don't like to bet on a guy who doesn't want to be where he's at. Talk to me a little bit about that. Go ahead. No, you, that's a great point. I mean, he's he's ticked off right now, and I don't blame him. He feels like he's doing it. He feels like the team does not value him, and I, and I can totally understand that. Um, I... I, I I think it's. I don't think it's a really good bet right now. I, I agree with you a thousand percent. It's just it with his situation, his mental standpoint right now, the way they've treated him, he's not happy, and that's not that's not a guy who's going to perform as well as he should. And I don't mean as in he won't give the effort because he will, but when your heart's not in it, you're just not quite there. And that's just the way it is in anything. So, real talk, real talk. Let's talk you know, about one of these running quarterbacks because I know we've. Uh, Drug the running backs through the mud a little bit. But let's talk about one of these running quarterbacks. You had Justin Fields, rotation number 1014. He's at plus 2,000. Now, Justin Fields, he came in in the top 10 last year with rushing yards at 1,143. One thing we don't like about Justin Fields, this guy is a fumble monster. Okay, had eight fumbles last year on the rush. We don't like that. But from a betting perspective, at plus 2,000, he's one of these running backs that's going to be running for his life out there again. The Bears didn't do too much to upstage that offensive line. Hopefully they can make some changes, some adjustments in preseason. But talking about it from a betting perspective, an early bet, if you just got a lot of money out there or you want to try to make some of these bets, these are some of the players that I personally think could be NFL rushing leaders just based on the offenses that I saw 
last year and the fact that they run the ball a lot. But talking about Justin Fields, quarterback for the Chicago Bears, do you think this young man is going to be able to increase his rushing yards percentage and possibly help get the Bears out of the cellar? Or is he going to try to work back into the pocket? I think he's still going to be running, and I think he might be a viable bet at plus 2,000. Go ahead. Well, uh, from what I hear, the team wants him to not run as much. But I think you're right. I think he's going to be running just as much. They really did not do much to change that offense. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they brought some receivers in. And, I mean, they're going to be better. But it's – there's – there's no. He's going to be running quite a bit. We're running for his life, actually. It's I'm telling you. Bit, he's going to have to get outside of the pocket. I mean, it's unfortunate. And this is one of the things that I talk to a lot of people about. When you make these type of prop bets, you got to understand the offensive scheme, the coordinator, but also the type of player he is. He got sacked a lot. I know he's been working on a lot of things to try to build and develop his passing, but they've got to get him some receivers. And one thing I always tell people is when you go to the NFL and it, you know, the dream, the draft, the glitz, the glamour, all that easy stuff gets over with and you get on that field and you start getting hit. And that ball starts whizzing past your head, just sliding right through your fingers. You got to get guys who got that dog in them, guys who want to get out there on the field and perform. And when you talk about it from the perspective of Justin Fields, we don't have to worry about his motor, but we do have to worry about his coaching. But they're going to start up in a couple of weeks. Again, you guys can watch these games over on FuboTV.com. I'm telling you right now, I implore you, go to FuboTV.com slash JB. If you look at all the prices going up around you for cable, for satellite, half of your regular free TV stations when they brought back the antenna don't work. Blackouts in local markets. You got to get a program package like Fubo TV. Here's what you do. You go to FuboTV.com slash JB. It's going to automatically give you 15% off. Sign up for the package that you want. And then use the email that you had. Sign up for the package. You go over to Google Play, whatever it is. And then you download the app, you sign in, and then guess what? You have TV in your pocket anywhere you go. I'm telling you right now, it's going to save you a ton of money. And when you're bored at galas and summer parties for the kids and everybody's screaming like crazy, all you got to do is just put on your headphones and just watch some Fubo TV. We got movies and everything. All right, enough on Fubo. Talking about another player that is a runner possibly could maybe have a breakout season Lamar Jackson rotation number 1022 at plus 2500 he's another one of these running quarterbacks if you will but he's on the list for stats as a rushing leader possibility this season he was another one of these quarterbacks in the round robin he got the deal that he wanted he's got everything he asked for this is the year where we expect him to do more and play at the top of his level, possibly even take these guys to the AFC Championship. I won't put a lot of pressure on him to get to the big game. But talking about betting, I think Lamar Jackson is another viable bet as an NFL rushing leader. I mean, they gave him a quarter billion dollars. He's got to get out there and do something. Talk to me. Yeah, he's de- of the quarterbacks, he's definitely. I think he's going to be the leader of them. I really do. He's he's. They've got some. They've added some weapons for him too, and I know they're kind of pushing him to pass more this year. That's what I read. They're really putting a lot of pressure on that offense. They they know more of this running, and so we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I think they they have that a good idea in their mind, but when reality sets in, it's a weapon that just needs to be utilized. Well, let's talk about some wide receivers now. You got DeAndre Hopkins. He'll be thirty one when the season starts. He got released back in March. Would have been the top receiver available, but now. There's not much of a market for him. I think that would be a good pickup for the Baltimore Ravens just to give Lamar Jackson a sure-handed receiver. And when you talk about the New York Jets, who might have a few dollars laying around, DeAndre Hopkins at 31, I think he can still give you a couple of good seasons. I mean, he was one of the more dominant receivers over the past couple of seasons. But again, those issues, you know, again, I know it's a betting show. Come on, guys, listen to the show, listen to the analysis. But if you're playing in the leagues, don't bet. You already got a million dollars. Why would you go into debt? Um, talking about on the defensive side of the ball, this is a guy who's a great sacker, but can't stop the run. Talking about Yannick and Gakwe, this is a guy that was on the edge rusher. He's 28 years old, was playing for the Colts. He's still out there, hasn't been able to stop the run, 
But that kind of confuses me because no teams are running the football. Edge rushers, where do you think this guy can go? Go ahead. Well, uh, before we drafted uh, Tyree, they were talking about, you know, the Raiders bringing him back to go with Barracks. Mm-hmm. But he, like you said, he can't stop the run. He's a great pass rusher. So I, I, I would think a... Uh, I'm surprised a team like Kansas City hasn't kind of tried to sneak in there on the cheap and get them. I'm glad, I'm glad they haven't. Cause, yeah, Kansas you know, City. We don't need them. We yeah. don't need them chasing Jimmy G around. He's already got enough people. Got, got enough problems. problems. Got enough problems. Now, Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook, running back, 28 years old, released by the Falcons. Uh, excuse me, the Vikings. I call them the Falcons. <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, they released him. He's 28 years old. He had a great year last year, top 10 in rushing, 1,100 yards, almost 1,200 yards. Didn't fumble as much as we, you know, have seen in the past. When are we going to see him get picked up? Because when you talk about it from the perspective of top running backs, he's another guy that was one of the better running backs in the league. And we just haven't seen the value in NFL free agency. I think they're kind of kind of saving these guys. They might bring them in for some workouts during uh, training camp. But just now, a lot of running backs, you saw Saquon Barkley, he turned down. Let me see. I just pulled that up. Turned down 19.5 guaranteed. And he had a great season last year. Kept the Giants relevant. Why do you think the running backs want so much money now? And again, it's not the fact that they don't deserve it. I think it has something to do with just the way that the free agency and the collective bargaining agreement is structured. But that one position seems to have the most trouble getting picked up. And from a business perspective, with a lot of running backs floating around the league, there are teams who need a running game. I would say the Miami Dolphins could use a little bit of help. I know they picked up, you know, they still got two of attack of Iloa, but when you have somebody like him who gets injured a lot, He's needed a good, decent check down running back, someone who can kind of take a short pass like a handoff. But guys like Saquon Barkley in New York who had top seasons coming back looking for more money and not getting it, how do you think that's going to continue to affect the betting lines going forward? Because when you start getting into these minus fours and plus four and a half, what I call these half score bets, because in football it's six, sevens, and threes, maybe a two, how do you come into a team right now where you say, they're completely balanced, stacked top to bottom. I mean, of course, you can look at the Super Bowl champion Chiefs, but at the same time, some of these other teams out here, this particular position, it's going to be the X factor for a lot of teams. And if we start seeing running backs go down early, we start seeing running backs go down in training camp. I think that's when we're going to start seeing some activity, maybe some one year off deals, stuff like that. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree. Um, I was kind of thinking the Rams wouldn't be a bad spot for Cook. They seem to have not had a solid running back for a few seasons now. Right. You know what? That would be good because they gave Sam Bradford the money. You see what I'm saying? They gave Sam Bradford the money. He's an older quarterback. He won the one you know championship, got Odell Beckham the ring, but he has done absolutely nothing on the field the past couple of seasons. And when you talk about it, that's the reason why. We know Cam Akers ain't the guy, man. That was just terrible, absolutely terrible. What he was putting together on the field, the Rams did not look like Super Bowl champions. They didn't even come close to defending that title. I think that would be a good option for Dalvin Cook. Somebody needs to get uh, McVay on the line. I know he's got a lot of sway with the front office up there. I think that'd be a good pickup for them and possibly even here with the Raiders. If, unfortunately, Josh Jacobs does not want to sign back here in Las Vegas. I told him before to take a look at Ezekiel Elliott. They were like, no go, JB. Dalvin Cook, he's still got about two, three good seasons in him. Throw him $45 million. Give him $25 million guaranteed. Bring him out here to tax-free Vegas. To start a running back war in that backfield. JB the ticket, Vegas scoreboard express. When I get back from the short commercial break, going to be looking at some more NFL free agents who are available. We got training camp starting in less than three weeks around the NFL. You guys can watch some of these training camp games. Live practices over on Fubo TV. Go to FuboTV.com slash JB. I'm hooking you up. VegasScoreboardExpress.com KSHP.com 107.1 FM AM 1400 VSX Digital Sports Network. Yes, that's who bringing you the grease every single Saturday and Sunday at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. early in the morning when the money 
is made. So, Ron, will we take the short commercial break? We'll jump back on it and keep laying down the grease. Again, a lot of value for the running backs on the line. Again, the NFL rushing yards leader, starting off with Derrick Henry at plus 550. And the last man on the line is the quarterback for the New York G-Men, Daniel Jones, at 1040 at plus 15,000. A lot of guys can make some money for you this season. When I get back, more with Ron Third Down Best Bets. Let's get some money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. J.P. the Kickback. Vegas scoreboard express. Giving you that grief. Seven days free on us at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled, get Fubo TV. Welcome to Hash House A Go Go, where we've been serving farm food and crafted cocktails for over two decades. Visit us for the full Hash House experience at any of our five Las Vegas locations. Hash House A Go Go is where old school meets new and gets twisted. We bring people together over good food and fun. Come in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and come hungry because our portions are huge. Visit us online to see our entire menu at hashhouseagogo.com. Hash House A Go Go. It's a Midwest thing, and there's nothing else like it. Keep it locked with your boy on the ones and twos. Going in on the wheels of steel. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. That's how we do it. That's just the way it is. Give That's it the reason that why I came to you. Drink and women and money. Waking you back up early in the morning. Ron, third down, best bets with me. I'm your host and boss of the big board, JP, the ticket. Vegas JP scoreboard express. Waking you up early in the morning each and every single weekend. At 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Saturdays and Sundays right here on KSHP. AM 1400 and 107.1 FM. And you can listen to me during the week on TuneIn Radio. That's right. Got a brand new channel. TuneIn app. You got to check me out over on TuneIn. Search for Vegas Scoreboard Express. Dot com. No static over there. Talking to my main man, Ron Third Down Best Bets, back on the line with me. More on the running backs. When we were at this short commercial break, Tony Pollard, good running back last year for the Dallas Cowboys. I think he's the reason why Ezekiel Elliott got released. He had a monster game coming into this season. He is on the line at rotation number 1009 at plus 1400 as a possible NFL rushing yards leader that's another one of these bets that i think could be valuable if you want to spread a little bit of money around at the running back position because what tony pollard was able to do was unseat a first round draft pick and he was able to not only perform but deliver had a very very solid season last year from the running perspective he had not a lot of fumbles just taking a look at where he was at but he's another guy if he hadn't have gotten injured he had a thousand yards do you think he can push that production level up and possibly take down that plus 1400 go ahead oh absolutely he's he's like lightning tony pollard's exciting when he gets the ball he just he takes off he don't the ball he gets the hole and he gets down the field i I really enjoy watching him he's he's a great running back yeah he's a speedy running back kind of what we call again a lightning running back six feet 209 very very quick decent hands went to memphis again i think that he's going to be a very very good value for somebody out there looking to do one of those long dog bets early on in the season. Talking about another NFL free agent that is still out there on the board. A lot of people were kind of shocked about it. He came into the league with a lot of fanfare, was supposed to change the edge rushing position, but didn't quite get it done. Had some decent years, though. Jadavion Clowney, he's 30 years old now. He's been kind of more of a journeyman in the NFL after he came out and was drafted by the Texans 
do you think that he could possibly be a value pick maybe even to come out here for the Raiders and help out with that defense because we need somebody, some name recognition and something. And I think, again, coming to this tax-free city, man, get a good, decent little check, decent little contract, might be able to motivate you. But talk about Javion Clowney, one of my favorite players in college, University of South Carolina, came into the NFL, high motor, but just hasn't really developed into that dominant edge rusher. But again, quality edge rusher can still get you some good downs. Again, he could be that third down guy, just like my main man, Ron, third down best bets. Check him out over on Instagram at Raider Hawk one. So again, Jadavion Clowney, 30 years old. I think he's got a good three seasons left in him. Where do you think he could end up in free agency? I think that it would be a good possibility for him to come and help shore up some of this defense and be a mentor. Jadavion Clowney, he's a very good guy, man. I've heard a lot of good things about you, Jadavion. If you come here to Vegas, definitely got to hang out with you in the off season during basketball season so nobody can say that you're making bad bets. But nevertheless, I get it. I get it. And, of course, as a real-time journalist when I'm on the field, I don't talk to these guys about that anyway. I rarely even talk to them. I'm more interested in talking to the journalists and the people behind the scenes because it gives me some inside scoop to break down for you guys from this perspective. But to Javion Clowney, where do you think he can go? Go ahead. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad fit. I mean, he's he's still a good player. I mean, I, I still can't get that hit against that Michigan running back in college out of my head. Yeah, that was, he, he blasted that guy. That was yeah, like 10 years ago. Yeah, he did. That's what I'm saying. That's why he came into the league. They were like, look, this guy is going to be one of the super trucks, man. He's going to be on top of these guys, laying them down. Again, hit him with a little bit of pause on that. It's all good. But when you talk about it from that perspective – his ability to be a mentor. A lot of these guys are looking for a big contract, but I'm saying to them, look, pick up a couple of mil to play the sport and help out with the young guys because you're getting a little bit long in the two. Sure up those credit card bills. Again, $10 million, two seasons, $5 million guaranteed. You're playing third down, man. You ain't even out there all day. Take a look at coming out west here with the Raiders. Also, he could possibly maybe get a look at from the Arizona Cardinals. You know you had J.J. Watt not stay on and he retired so these guys are looking for some opportunity another player came into the nfl many years ago with a lot of fanfare teddy bridgewater teddy bridgewater that's right quarterback out of louisville shout out to all my friends and fans listening over in kentucky shout out my guys over at 35 ky kentucky sports follow them on instagram too at 35 ky sports you guys always see me retweeting and putting their stuff back up because they've got great sports content but Teddy Bridgewater, he was with Miami last year, filled in respectively for a often injured Tua Tagovailoa. Do you think that he could be a backup somewhere to kind of mentor some of these younger players? There was a possibility of maybe him going it down to Tennessee to help out with Malik Willis. But Malik Willis has already faded off a lot of people's boards. Don't know what's happening with that. I'm going to try to get some inside scoop, see what's going on in Nashville. But Teddy Bridgewater, 30 years old when the season starts. He's had injuries, but he's a serviceable backup. He kind of reminds me of a uh, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. But go ahead. Uh, did Tennessee take Will Levis, the kid from Kentucky? I think they did. did. They take- I think they did. I think yes. I think that's why Malik Willis, which I think they're going to regret in the long run. They should have. They should keep him and get rid of Tannehill, personally, in my opinion. But mm-hmm. that's their problem. But uh, yeah, it's it's going to be. I mean, yeah. I mean, all I can say is yes. <laughs> well, that, I mean, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, I mean, I mean Davidian would be good. I mean, I mean, yeah, he, he's serviceable, really serviceable. I mean, I'm surprised mm-hmm. there is no market for him. I mean, he's still a good defensive end. He's still a good productive player. You know, there should be a market for him. So, yeah, I think Arizona would be a great fit. I mean, he could even sneak into Seattle and get into their rotation. Seattle, uh, I don't know about Seattle, man. It's just Jadavion needs to be in a market, a good, warm weather market. Cold, wet weather. He doesn't seem to play that well. Remember, he was up there with the Browns, didn't do absolutely anything. Come out west, come out to the desert. We play in a dome. It'll be great for him. More NFL free agencies that I've been taking a look at. You know, D Hop is still out there. You got Dalton Reisner. Now, he was supposed to be one of the better guards. To come in, and he was unfortunately caught up in some drama because he pushed Brett Rippon on the sidelines. 
on Christmas Day. He started 62 games. He's played at an above-average level. We need some offensive talent on the line here in Las Vegas. Dalton Reisner, again, could help out some of these rookies. I know we've drafted some studs. We've got that tight end. Mike Myers there. But from a guard perspective, we got to find a way to protect Jimmy Garoppolo. You know Jimmy Garoppolo's injury prone. And with all the girls and all the poon getting thrown at him, I mean, come on, man. It's just a matter of time before he slips up. Let's hope not. But Dalton Reisner, I think, could be a good addition to training camp to kind of push some of these guys. Again, a veteran at 28, been around the league. And I think that if you look at what you've seen over in Kansas City, a lot of people don't talk about it. Kansas City picks up a lot of veterans, free agency deals, undrafted free agents, guys coming off waivers. That's why they're able to keep that motor running. And if you look at Patrick Mahomes, that offensive line over at Kansas City continually reloads. I think Dalton Reisner, again, could possibly end up in KC as some insurance. But also another team I haven't talked about, the Carolina Panthers, in complete rebuild mode. They're a team right now that could use any and everything Dalton Reisner, again, could help out on that offensive line. Where do you think he could possibly go? Go ahead. I agree with the Raiders. I mean, I think they'd be a great pickup for the Raiders. They could use his experience, his tenacity. The guy, the guy, he, he gets he gets teed off, man. He goes out there and smacks people, and that's what we need. That's what offense. We definitely need that. Be. We need that, and especially with the way the offensive scheme here is set. We know that Josh McDaniels is trying to run a hybrid of what we call a run and shoot. Okay. <laughs> and we, because he's got deep threat and um, Devonte Adams, we brought in Jimmy Garoppolo, who he's familiar with. It's the same offense the year they ran in new England when Tom Brady had Randy Moss. Remember that run and shoot offense. They had the running back. God, I can't think of that guy's name. He was just playing lights out, but Randy Moss tore up the league because they would run it the first two downs maybe get five, six yards, and then they just out of nowhere throw a 50-yard bomb. I think that's kind of what the Raiders are trying to continue to do. They've been drafting speedsters and guys at wide receiver over the last couple of seasons, a couple of offensive linemen. I think that will be a good fit for them because, again, Reisner, high motor, man. He came out of Kansas State, played above his pay grade. I think he deserves an opportunity to come out to Vegas to make some money. But we're getting ready to uh, get into the last 10 minutes of the show. Thank you guys so much for listening. NFL Free Agency here on BSX. You guys can check us out over on our website, VegasScoreboardExpress.com. We're going to be taking it down in about a day or two to get it updated, I know. But we're going to be bringing you some great new opportunities, some great new offers from our sponsors this fall. And again, if you guys want a sponsorship, if you're a small business, support the show here in Las Vegas. I'm giving you the entire weekend waking people up if you're a restaurant and you got a breakfast deal if you're a car dealership and you got a morning oil change program does not matter give us a call over at 702-909-0585 that's the number to the vsx studios and you can also check us out on the web at vsx digital sports network.com ron shout out then i'm gonna take this short commercial break and then we'll finish up the show this morning great job too man we got a lot of grease with this nfl free agency going to be seeing these guys get on the field in the next couple of weeks can't wait i'm already putting together my bankroll list and i'm helping you listeners out there do the same thing but ron shout out and then we'll get out of here go ahead yes sir that was my sister johnny carey continue your, your climbing back from your health love you so much and my buddy Darrell out here too keep it going brother that's what I'm talking about. All the listeners out there in Las Vegas, all my sports bettors around the world, all my first responders, give you guys a shout out if you're waking up early in the morning with JB the Ticket every Saturday and Sunday. I know we weren't on the air last Sunday. Somehow we lost the feed. You know we had all that wind out there. Antenna got blown down for Christ's sakes. But again, we got it back up, put some new bolts in the ground, and we're going to continue to keep bringing you the grease, getting you ready for this pro football season. So when I get back, short commercial break. Me and Ron are going to get you ready, get, take you out to the book today. If you're just going to the book to hang out, there's not too much going on, not too many bets out there. Just go and learn. Get the rotation sheets, pick up whatever knowledge that you need. But most importantly, we want you to keep it locked here with me, JP the Ticket and Vegas Scoreboard Express. I have no incentive to do one thing, and that's get you some money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball, JP the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Giving you that grief.
This football season, stay in the game with Fubo TV. Over 100 live channels, including NFL Network, NBA TV, and FS1. Don't miss any of the action. Get seven days free on us at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Is your dog suffering from a sensitive stomach? Hi, it's Kelly the Cookie Lady from Mooch's Munchies. Our dogs had super sensitive tummies, and I needed to find a low-fat treat that wouldn't give them gas or other issues. Most of the treats on the market were loaded with fillers, chemicals, and chicken fat. Many of them weren't even food. Well, I knew I could do better, so I developed Mooch's Munchies, and I'm happy to be able to share them with you. Stop by our store or our website, moochesmunchies.com, and find out why we say that Mooch's Munchies are totally possum. JB the Ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express, back at you live, getting ready to get you on with your Saturday. Going to be a hot one out there today, triple digits this Saturday, July the 15th, here in Las Vegas, Southern Nevada. All my sports business around the world listening on KSHP.com. Be sure to do it every Saturday and Sunday morning at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. That's when I'm going to be back with you. Got my main man, Ron Third Down Best Bets. Follow him on Instagram at RaiderHawk1. Check him out on my website at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. So I was talking a little bit on the break. Again, shout out to my main man, Naeem the Dream, man. This guy, he's what I call a true sports radio fan. This is why I do the show. When I meet you guys out here in Vegas and I run while I travel around the country and you're like, wait, I know that voice. I'm like, yeah, I hide my face for a reason. But <laughs> it is me. It is JB the Ticket. Again, want to give him a shout out. Because he just sent me something here while I was live on the air. Again, you guys can interact with me on the show if you go over to Twitter and follow us at We Beat the Line. And also, if you uh, go to our studio line, there is a text function, 702-909-0585. Talking about this particular structure here, he mentioned that the Raiders could possibly get some value out of DeAndre Hopkins. And that's a very good point. They need an opposite wide receiver for Devontae Adams and to keep that defense honest so they don't start double teaming Adams. Do you think D-Hop could possibly be taking a uh, private jet out here to Vegas? You know, this past week, NBA free agency, every celebrity was out. A lot of money was getting spent. I heard about people robbing uh, people late at night in the hotel rooms. Gotta stop the thieving people! All that damn thieving! My God! Anyway, I'm getting you grease this morning, giving you picks to pay. D-Hop, you think he can come over to Vegas and possibly make a little bit of money with us here? Thank you. Yes. I think he can. I think it would be a great move for the Raiders. I'm not sure he will, though. I, I know right now he's trying to make what he's worth. Mm-hmm. That's why he has not signed. So it's going to basically be if he wants to take Laz to go where he wants to go. Last thing I heard is he wants to go to Kansas City, but they can't afford him right now. So right. they're trying to find some kind of a contract for him so it's right. it's basically going to be what he's willing to take but him coming to vegas would be wonderful yes i think I it would be great they, i don't know if they can make it happen but it'd be a great idea yeah i mean you look at it from the perspective of what is las vegas trying to do in reality in my opinion they should be trying to get to the big game it is hosted here in las vegas for the first time at Allegiant stadium so there's a lot of pressure on the Raiders. You talk about opening Allegiant Stadium. We didn't quite get to do it the way we wanted to because of that unnamed disease that was floating around. But again, talking about it from the perspective of this season, I think all the marbles are on the table for the Raiders this season. I don't know if they believe it, but I believe it as a sports better because when you take a look at a home team, look at what Tom Brady did for Tampa Bay. When he got traded to Tampa Bay that first year, again, we know how the NFL is. It ain't guaranteed that you'll get to the Super Bowl, but they made moves They got in players, and they were able to be successful. One of the things that I see here that the Raiders, they shored up that defense. We got a new rookie tight end. I think the guy's going to be an awesome tight end, though. I mean, as I said, OTAs, didn't see him making too many mistakes. He was a listener, too. That kid didn't say a word. I was like, yep, that's Michael Myers for real. Give him the mask. I didn't even, I don't even know what the kid sounds like. All, All he did was listen to his coaches and pound the football. He pounded that rock, man. Focusing on making the right moves because we haven't had that from our rookies here in Las Vegas for the last couple of seasons with the Raiders. We haven't had that. A lot of rookie issues, a lot of mistakes getting made. Issues upon issues. But when I saw Mike Myers running around, I'm like, this guy kind of looked like a veteran. It doesn't look like they just picked him up. And he hasn't said a word. Is he really focused on wearing that mask? Halloween, I'm telling you, put that mask out, man. Come over to VSX. We'll help you get it hooked up. 
But rounding it out, talking about it from the last perspective, another player that a lot of folks have been talking to me about, and like, JB, why don't you talk about this guy? I'll give you a little bit of grease on him. Now, this is Christian McCaffrey. He's a Madden All-Star. He ain't done nothing in the league. Dynamic running back. I don't take anything away from him, but, I mean, you talk about him from a betting perspective, Christian McCaffrey on the rotation line, 10-12 over at BetUS.com. He's giving you plus 2,000. You think there's any way this guy could possibly be the rushing leader? Go ahead. Yeah, but I don't think so. I mean, you got to give it a chance. He's, a good, he's always a statistical chance, mathematical chance. No, I don't think he will. Uh, my gut is Nick Chubb's going to get it. That's my number one gut. Yeah. In Cleveland, they yeah. just feed him the rock. They just feed it to him over and over all game long. Besides Derrick Henry, he's right there. Yeah, I mean, you got to do something. I mean, it's one of those opportunities that I have rarely seen in sports betting where you have an entire position priced in the plus starting at 550 going all the way up to plus two what 2,000 plus 20 no plus 15,000 you got guys immediately it jumps from 550 550 plus 800 Jonathan Taylor running back for the Indianapolis Colts so there's a lot of value at this running back position if there's anything you guys got from the show today know that the running back position is where the money can be made. So, again, getting ready to sign off. Got my main man, Ron, third down best bets, getting ready to drop a little grease on you. One of my favorite tracks. It's time to get some grease, guys. Saturday, it's going to be triple digits, waking you up early in the morning. Got my main man, Ron, third down best bets. You know we're dropping them. A little bit of that Ocean's 12. You know I like this grease. Let's get ready to rock up out of here, Ron. Any final shout-outs before we get up out of here for the day? Go ahead. American Cancer Society. Everybody, anything you can do to help. Anything. Time, money, wealth, effort, love. Anything you can do. Please join the fight with people's cancer skills. That's right. American Cancer Society going to be doing a lot of sponsorships. Reach out to us over here at VSX. We're going to send you the check anyway. I'm your host and boss of the big board, JB The Ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express. Check us out on my website at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. All you got to do is get over to the bird. Follow us at We Beat The Line. Go over to the gram. Follow me at JB The Ticket. So that's what it is, guys. I'm getting ready to sign off, give you a little bit of grease and music today. Tune in tomorrow. Got my main man, Scotty, beam him up web from the East Coast Sports Investors and MLBDaily.com. Going to be breaking it down for you. Going to run that back for you one more time. Again, shout out David Holmes. The day of is the name of it from the Ocean 12 soundtrack. I was bumping this this morning to wake up early in the morning. So you know what time it is. Time to grab your bankroll, hit the window, and beat the line. I'll be back tomorrow. Let's get the money. Listening to the boss of the big boy, JP the Tech. Vegas scoreboard express. Giving you that grip. You are rocking with the hottest. Put your hands up for the boss. The Mix Master is live. Get ready. You're listening to the boss of the big ball.